Welcome back to a brand new Arc Ascended Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to check out mods that will help you with your trapping, taming, and kibble problems in Arc. Welcome to the channel. I'm TVF Gaming here on the channel. We do Let's Plays, Mod Spotlights, and the TVF sometimes stands for the best fails. Let's get into today's video. We want to check out some mods that help you with your taming or just kind of change up that early game taming process. And this is a really fun mod spotlight because the last few weeks we've been doing a bunch of dino mods, structures mods. These are ones that you can add to your playthrough just to change it slightly. I really like these ones. Let's get into it. As always, if you have a mod that you want me to check out, put it in the comments down below. I write down all suggestions into a little nerdy spreadsheet and we'll try to get to those as soon as we can. I hope you guys have a great start to your 2024 like comment and subscribe on today's video huge shout out to the patrons and youtube members that make the channel possible let's get into it all right the first mod today is randy's traps by randy beers this mod is cross-platform so you guys can enjoy it on pc or console it's a really well done pre-made structures that act as traps and the traps can be set up to be automatic so they work really really well tested out a little bit with a raptor and a rex and a couple other things we'll show you that real quick as well let's get into it this is a cool mod man very very cool mod he's got a couple other mods on the, the store too to include an emporium that i want to check out later on but the randy's traps this is really cool when you set it down let me show you what it looks like when you first put it in so if we go over here boom put it down watch it kind of build in it's just really cool I love the way it builds in like that. There you go. So it actually looks like it's being built. Now, in order to work these, there's a couple little functions on here. When you go up here and you hold the button, you can open the trap door, close the trap door, which is like a quick click, and then open the door. It's a little bit slower one, so you don't accidentally open it when there's a dino in there. And then to actually arm the trap, you're going to go over here and click this little lightning bolt on top to activate the trap. And if you see those little leaves in the back. So now, if we have something follow us through, so if we get, we'll get a raptor here in just a second, we'll bring him through. As soon as we break through that grass, the trap automatically closes. So that way you don't have to worry about the animal getting out. So you have to run around and close the door like you would on a manual one. So same thing on these ones. Hold the button, activate the trap. And you can see on the back side that went to a different color. So now when we run through it, it's going to automatically trigger the trap. Very, very cool. Uh, the only thing I will say is make sure. Hold on. Open trap door. We'll go, we'll go ahead and test them out real quick. Uh, but the one thing to keep in mind with these is obviously <laughs> make sure the guy is actually in there before you close it. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll scoot back like this, and then once he gets close, then I'll back out and activate the trap. That way you can actually see that he's in there. Because a couple times we ran through, thought they were good, and then the Rex came coming out around the outside to do the thing. Okay, let me spawn a Raptor in real quick. Let's go ahead and activate the trap. We'll go ahead and activate the trap. Let me spawn a Raptor in real quick, and then we'll get to running. All right, so we got our Raptor friend here. Let's go. Come on. Stay with me. Go ahead and run through, run through the thing, and boom, he's trapped in there. Now, this is a wooden one, so I, I think he can actually break this one. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. doesn't look like he's actually hurting the structure at all, so that's good. But there you go, the small wooden trap for guys like that. Uh, this one also worked really well for the raptor. He didn't seem to be able to get through these little traps, but if you try the raptor on this one, he can obviously get out this backside. Let me get a Rex in here real quick so we can do that one. Let's activate trap. Let me bring in a Rex. One second. There you go. Big bad Rex coming through. Come on. Let him come to us. Get in. Just kind of slowly back out. And boom. Look at that. That is so smooth. Same thing for a Giga. I won't show you again for the Giga, but same exact function. Just works really well. And now this guy is trapped in here, and you can shoot him till he knocks out. Keeps him pretty much from getting eaten and stuff, too. So really, really cool. So there you go. That's Randy's traps. There's also... Like I said, the big trap over here, which is the Giga Trap. And then the last one, there's also an underwater trap for Megalodons. I don't know I don't know if a Plessy could fit in here, but it could definitely fit a Megalodon. So Megalodon swims through. Let's go ahead and activate this one because I actually don't know which side. Let's see. Open trap. Oh, open trap door. Let's open the door. Come on. Open the door. There you go. So the, the door is on that side, so I actually did it backwards, but... So, yeah, it looks like a Megalodon could definitely come in here. I'm not sure about a Plessy. If you put it out in open water, maybe, and then you just swim out the back. Let's go ahead and make sure this is activated, and it should do the same thing. Activate trap. All right. So we get the Megalodon in. We swim out the backside, and it should. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can actually hear it hit. Very, very cool, man. I'm really, really liking this mod. Very cool. So that's Randy's Traps by Randy Beers. Like I said, he's got another mod out there called the Emporium that we want to check out in the future. Make sure you go check that one out. I hope you guys enjoy that mod. Let's move to the next one. All right, the next two mods, it's a two-for-one. We've got Cannibalistic has made a mod called Easy Tame Additions and another mod called Kibble Vending Machine, something we use back in ASE a lot. This is a really cool one. Easy Tame Additions just gives you a few things to help with their taming experience. All the items are... 
uh, like a little bit improved from the vanilla version. I'll show you what they are real quick. So obviously you have the first structure table. This is where you make all the items. So inside here you make all the items. You've got the dino pestle. You've got the grill. You've got the hive, the ice box, the spoil bag, and the trough. So you've got all of those. This is your grill. So let me go through each one of these. The Let's see. Better trough is the first one up. So the better trough just has more slots, increased range, reduced size, the ice box has reduced spoil times for consumable items. The spoiling bag spoils raw meat at a rapid pace and helps preserve the spoiled meat. The synthetic hive allows for the creation of real and synthetic honey as well as honey storage. So you can actually make both inside of there if you have rare flowers. That way you don't have to go out and find honey all the time. So very, very cool. Uh, the primitive kibble grill allows you to make kibbles, veggie cakes, and cooks raw meats in bulk. So very cool. So it cooks all your meats and it does it really, really fast. You got your kibbles that you can make up in here and your veggie cakes. All right, and the last one, the dino pestle allows you to make a few things. You've got the dino depletion, which actually takes the food level of the dino down so you can tame them a little bit faster. Dino broth of enlightenment, dino energy brew, dino healing brew, and dino biscuit, delicious treat for the dinos. And then the consumable side, you have a sanguine elixir, tastes salty and metallic yet strangely alluring to hungry creatures. All right, that first mod is Easy Tame Additions by Cannibalistic. The second mod by Cannibalistic is called the Vending Machine, the Kibble Vending Machine. So this is really cool. Oh, look, you actually see the kibbles in there. I didn't see that. That's really cool. So if you look inside of here, the kibbles are just made with metal. So it just makes it a little bit easier if you're playing on a server where you don't have a lot of time to make the kibble and stuff like that. This allows you to do it with metal. Right now, it's set up to where they're all just 20 metal for whatever one. Obviously, some people are going to think that's a little bit cheaty or a little bit OP, but honestly... Arc is kind of out tailoring your experience to what fits your play style. If you don't have that much time to play, you're never going to get to kibbles and stuff like this. So this will kind of allow you to get that so you can actually get those perfect tames. If you're just playing casually, I think it's fun to have stuff like that. But that is Kibble Vending Machine and Easy Tame Additions by Cannibalistic. Two great mods. Let's move to the next one. All right, the next mod by Jelly Gecko is Expanded Passive Tames. I really like this one because it allows you to passive tame some of the small to medium-sized creatures. So parasaurs, dodos, stuff like that. You can actually passive tame them instead of having to club them to knock them out. So now you just walk up to them, and it's just like any other passive tame. Walk up, feed them the kibble, and boom, you have your dino. Obviously, I have some really good kibble, so it was super quick. With berries and stuff like that, it'd be a few feedings, but I wanted to show you super quick. Same with dodos. If we had a dodo here. So same thing with a dodo. Walk up to the dodo and passive tame. So there you go. Just makes it a little bit easier so you can do passive taming. Obviously, if we're using berries or something like that, I'll show you berries real quick. Just to show you it's a little bit slower. But uh, if you look at the spyglass, you can actually tell exactly how many. So if we were doing some mejo berries, it'd be a couple feedings. But no nothing too crazy. I, I really like this mod. Easy passive tames. It's called Expanded Passive Tames by Jelly Gecko. Super simple, super quick mod to show off. See you guys in the next mod. All right, once again, we're going to show off two different mods here. These are by the mod developer Delta Strium. Hopefully, I'm saying that somewhat correctly. This is Balanced Kibble 2 and Balanced Narcotics. Narcotics too. These are both really good mods that just kind of change the way that kibble and narcotics are made. It's exactly what it's called. It's really, really balanced. It doesn't, it's not like super, super easy to make. It still takes a little bit of challenge, but takes out some of the grind in it. So it's a little bit easier to kind of get into. All right. So the two structures inside of the balanced kibble mod, we've got the kibble cooker and the egg converter inside of the egg converter. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like. A little bit of light to it. The, oh, oh, you can actually see the egg pop up. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's really cool. Does it just keep going? Oh, well done. Yeah, you can see the egg keep coming up. That's actually a really cool animation. Good job on that. All right, so the egg stuff here, if we want to pull one over here to do this, it will make a basic egg for us. There you go. So that turns it into that one. And then you could keep doing that down the line to make each one of these. So if we go over here. Oh, I don't have the simple dinosaur egg. Okay, so we couldn't do that one. Is there a simple in here? Not 100% sure, but now we can take this over here to the kibble cooker, and there's a whole lot of stuff in here. You've got the wyvern milk, which takes egg mix, free of curry, shadow steak, and woolly rhino horn. You've got nameless venom, which is the egg mix, narcotic, giant honeybee, and oil. And then in here is where you get that egg mix that it showed from the previous one. It does ask for bingleberry in this one. If it says bingleberry, use any berry. You can just throw a bunch of mijos in there. It'll count as that. Tinto berries, it'll count as that. Bingleberry is just all the berries. So that, that's what we have right there. So to make that, pull everything. And then we just need that basic egg. And now we should be able to turn on and craft the egg mix. So there you go. That's how we get the egg mix. There you go. Can we make another one? No, that's it because we only had the one egg. All right. And then if you look in after the ingredients, you have all these ones five times. Oh, this is just more at once of the egg mix. And then the kibbles. You got the kibbles over here, which take 
the berries, cooked meat, egg milk. So it's just a little bit different from the previous. It doesn't require quite as many eggs as what you previously would need. So I, I think it just kind of cuts out the egg part of it. But yeah, no, just really cool mod. That is the Balanced Kibble 2. All right, so that's the first one, Balanced Kibble 2. Let's move on to the other one. The other one is called... So that's the first one called Balanced Kibble 2. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Balanced Narcotics. What's up, buddy? Same thing on this one. It's got a few different ones in here. We've got the consumable side of things, which has a few different types of narcotics. You've got narcotic, a special stimulant, 5cc stimulant, 5cc narcotic, 15cc narcotic, 15cc stimulant. And I think that's it for those. But if we try these, let's go in here. Weapons, ammo. We've got a bunch of different arrows in here, too. We've got, of course, your regular Trank arrow. You've got your 5cc one, which will make a couple of those. We already have a few. And then we have our darts. We've got the 10cc dart and the 30cc dart. We'll use each one of these just to kind of see how much torpor they give. I've already got a couple rifles down here. Just need a crossbow. Quick crossbow. There you go. We'll test out each one of these ones real quick. All right. All right, so let's test it out. Let's test it on a guy that we can see pretty easily here, the Rex. What's up, man? Oh, that Dodo's following me. No wonder. All right, so this guy has 15,000 Torpor. So actually, let's do it on a little guy. This guy has 1.8. And this should be basically a five times arrow, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at it build up pretty quick. We'll see where it stops at. So 437 with the smaller arrow. Not too bad. And then of the darts, the green is the 10cc. So let's do the green one first. So this guy has 15.4. Actually, we could probably still do it on this guy. Let's do this one more time. Go ahead and knock this guy out. Oh my god, we missed. Hold on. Let's try it again. I also noticed when we were remaking those that there is a web dart as well. So we'll try that one too. So there you go. Shoot him. There you go. I did a ton of torpor. Let's go ahead and check out the little bit higher one. This is the 30cc. Unless I got him backwards. I think you can shoot through these, but just to be safe, we're going to go down here right here. Do it like this. There you go. So that one did 4.7. This one will give us a better idea of how much we're doing. So that one does 4.7, and that one does just short of 2. So definitely not bad. The other dart that we have is a web dart of the same power. There's a 10cc web dart and a 30cc web dart. So we'll go ahead and shoot the web dart. Should do a little web slow. Can he bite me right here? I don't know. I haven't tried. There you go. So he's now, he's now webbed on top of actually getting a little bit of torpor added. There you go. You got that giant web on him. How cool is that? Let's actually test if we can shoot through here. We can. Perfect. There you go. Knocked out. That one's called Balanced Narcotics 2, which aims to improve the existing narcotic items without being too OP. That's why I like both these mods, is they're not super, super OP, but they can definitely make it a little bit easier to get into some of that stuff, reduce some of the grind. But I really like the extra the extra ammo and the different darts. I think those are really cool effects. So very, very cool. That is the Balanced Kibble and Balanced Narcotic by Delta Strium. Probably butchering that name. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, of course, all of these mods that we showed today are cross-platform, which is really exciting. I love that I can check these out on Xbox as well. If you guys have a mod that you want me to do in the future, make sure you put it in the comments down below. Huge shout-out to the patrons that make these videos possible. Really do appreciate all the work that the modders are doing to make the game that we love even better. So thank you so much to them. And, man, hope you guys have a great day and a great start to the year. See you in the next one.